Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the 8 circle theorems. So there's 8 in total, uh, we'll cover 4 in this video and we'll cover 4 in a separate video. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So rule number 1 is that angles in the same segment are equal. So first of all let's draw a segment. So a segment is the area formed when a chord cuts across two points on the circumference of a circle. So that's this point here and this point here, so the segment is this area here. Now angles in the same segment are equal, what does this mean? Well, if we draw a, a triangle from the two points on the chord to a point on the circumference, like so, the angle formed, uh, no matter where we draw this point on the circumference, will be the same. So in this red triangle here, this angle X will be the same as this angle here, which is also X, in this blue triangle. Uh, and again, if we draw another point here, with this green triangle, the angle will always be X. So moving on to rule number two, which is that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. So let's draw a cyclic quadrilateral. So a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral formed by drawing four points on the circumference of a circle, like so. So this one looks like a rectangle, but it could be any quadrilateral. Uh, and then the opposite angles sum to 180 degrees. So if we call this one W and this one X, and we'll draw two more angles, we'll call this one Y and call this one Z. Well, the sum of the two opposite angles is 180 degrees, so W plus X equals 180 degrees, and Y plus Z equals 180 degrees. And then, uh, if you add these two together, you get 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees, which is obviously the sum of the internal angles of any quadrilateral. So moving on to rule number three now, and that is that the angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, let's just start with drawing the centre of the circle. If we draw two radii, which is a line from the centre of the circle out until it hits the point on the circumference, uh, then this angle formed at the centre of the circle uh, will be twice the angle formed when the two radii are joined at a point on the circumference. So we'll call this angle x and this angle will be 2x. So finally rule number four, uh, the perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the centre of a circle. So let's draw a chord which is a straight line joining two points on the circumference of a circle. And then a perpendicular bisector is a line which is perpendicular to the chord and cuts it exactly into two so that these two parts are equal. Well, this line will pass through the centre of the circle here. So if you'd like to get more practice with some circle theorems exam style questions, you can have a go at our online exam, which you can find through our revision platform. Uh, you'll find a variety of different question types, plenty of different questions to practice, and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. Uh, so this is really useful if you want to try and get some feedback on the areas that you need to improve on. Uh, if you're interested and you want to take the exam, then please click the link below.